Hey y'all, welcome back. Glad you came back. Um, we're still continuing with our 4L80E build. And today, we're going to deal with the uh, direct, we're gonna deal with the direct and the intermediate clutch assembly, intermediate sprag, I should say. Uh, so, if you like the content, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button turn on your notification bell um, share it with all your friends comment and all that good jazz and with that being said let's get into it make it short and sweet here you got your your uh, sprag assembly you got your return spring these fancy blue pistons the factory ones are black but these are an aftermarket one they're really not look like a nice get up I mean they're all machined in there for the seal and uh, yeah I think they're gonna work good so you got that and then you get your outer sprag assembly this the snap rings that you need this is one of them that's your spring retainer and then the one that you use for the sprag is this and this is a uh, spiral lock. Um, yes, just like a piston. As you can see, it's actually it's actually three different. It's just kind of spiral wound. But it's called a spiral lock. But that's what holds your sprag on. So I'm gonna get you set on the bench, and we'll get going on this dude. All right, here we go. Get my sitting sitting apparatus here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's start with the sprag first. Let's flip this on its end. Of course, first things first, you need to give it a little love. You're gonna have a bottom piece, which is your one of your races. Excuse me, that goes on there first. Then put your sprag on there. I almost missed it. The other piece was stuck to the top of it, so make sure don't don't double stack them. That in there. Put your other one on top. Do a little love on the... Okay, you're gonna need your, your outer race, which is right here. Give yourself some love on the inside of that dude. Grooves go up facing you. And just kind of. They can prove to be stubborn going on. And sometimes it's easier to put the sprag in the. There you go, just like that. Put your top ring in there. And put your, this is your oil deflector. And there's a notch here on, on either side. And so again, give it a little bit of love on the bottom. like that and then take your spiral lock whatever the heck I did with that there it is I always start it at a groove 
work your way around. And once you get it started, just roll it around. The uh, little lock tab should be lined up with that. Groove. There we go. Just wasn't holding my tongue right, apparently. Okay, there's that. So now, We'll work on getting our piston in, so we need to find a seal for that. And it looks like it should be a D seal or a lip seal. I'm sure it's not a D, uh, just a square cut seal. That looks like the ticket right there. Just a lip seal. Yep, that's it. All right, see if you can paint your your lip a little bit, which doesn't exactly work on this one. So the next best bet, grab it with your fingers and just lube the seal up. Very important. If you don't, it'll rip it. Almost guaranteed. Almost. Okay, once you get that in there, kind of work the seal in, try not to roll it. So there you've got all that. So now, You really need to lube this up because this seal is a booger to get in. The lip wizard sometimes works. Um, I don't have the uh, tools here. Because like I said, I'm trying to do this like you would at your house. but be generous with this lube on this dude. Get inside there. And it's important you get the bevels too because that'll help the, the seal slide in better. All right. Now this is where your lip wizards should come in handy. You can get it down in beside there. Just kind of roll it. These fit so tight. There it goes. Beautiful. All right. So there's that piece. Now your spring retainer goes on top. Then you'll have your snap ring. So 
So we're going to use this here. smaller of the two mouse traps. Alright, this one is binding a little bit. All you gotta do is pop it. Because what it'll do is it'll get stuck in the snapper and groove. And we should be down far enough we can get the snappering in. So Get it around the shaft there. Okay, we're not down just far enough. There it goes. Yep, it's all the way in. All right. All right, so we got our piston in. We've got uh, new steels coming, but it doesn't come with a wave plate. This is gonna be your wave plate. Then you got all your clutches here and your forward clutches and your third gear clutches are direct, are the same size. And normally I would soak these in fluid, but since we don't have yet, I'm just going to throw these in there. One, two, three, four, five. And that's all we're going to do on that one. So we're waiting for the rest of the stuff. This one should have the same snap ring also. Should be these two. So we'll just throw that snap ring in there for good measure right now. All right, well that's the uh, the end of this video for uh, the direct and intermediate sprag um, set installation. Well, we're not really installing it yet, but uh, uh, putting the piston in, setting the sprag up, that kind of stuff. Uh, so I hope you liked uh, what you've seen today. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for videos to come. Make sure to smash that like button for me. Uh, turn your notification bell on, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, until next video, uh, take care of yourself, take care of each other. God bless you and we'll see you then. Bye bye.